What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to Red Dead Online. And today I'd like to talk about some things I would like to see come to the game. Uh, kind of some new things that you know I just had some ideas of. Some things that I've seen online that I've seen people discussing. Uh, the reason I kind of want to do this video is I've seen a lot of talk lately about people saying they're getting bored with the roles. They've been playing for a long time. It feels like they're just doing the same thing, you know, day in and day out. And you guys all know I play a lot of different games here on the channel. I've played a lot of different RPG style games, MMO style games, first person shooters. And when it comes to MMOs or RPGs, they're always kind of that grindy thing. You know, you're always doing a certain task over and over to either make money or to get certain gear or to, you know, and for example, like the Elder Scrolls Online, I play it a lot. You may go in and, and, and farm certain dungeons to get, you know, gear sets. Or uh, if you play the Division 2 or Destiny 2, you go in and you're trying to find certain armor pieces or certain gear pieces or certain weapons. The same can kind of be said for Red Dead Online, where you're not going out trying to farm you know weapons and things you're going out to farm money that's pretty much what you're doing it's just a grind to farm money with all the different roles that are available in game and a lot of people feel like these roles are way too similar and it is kind of disappointing that you know the moonshine role and the trader role are pretty much just kind of just wait until it's done and you go get in your wagon and go from point a to point b to sell it and then you kind of start over the collector role and the naturalist role feel a lot a kind of alike i guess in a lot of ways because you're going out and collecting, other, whether it be animal samples or things from Madame Lazar, but you're making sets and just collecting these items and bringing them back and selling them and just rinse and repeat. And it is a bit of a grind, and I understand why some people say they kind of get frustrated with it or, you know, just kind of bored of it. And I do understand that the reason people say that. I understand why people feel like that. I guess I've been so used to playing MMOs and RPGs for so long that it's just kind of the normal thing to me, I guess. It just feels like the way it should be. But at the same time, I would like to see some changes. I would like to see some variations in roles. And I know a lot of people have been talking about housing lately, and they're hoping housing is going to come to the game. And I'm assuming it will eventually, because it's been talked about from Rockstar and Take-Two. Uh, as I've said in other videos, even before the game was released, they talked about having housing in the online mode. But if it's just going to be purchasing a house, which I will do, of course, but I, I think a lot of people are wanting more to do with housing because I'm sure we're going to be able to purchase a house, have a small amount of decor we can change out. But what if that house was linked to something like a ranch or a farm where you could raise cattle, uh, you know, raise horses, uh, something to do where you could kind of have a business along with your home. I think that would be a lot of fun. Another thing kind of revolving around that whole idea would be a horse thief. Uh, of course, when you got your very first horse in game from the twin brothers, of course, you know, you meet in the uh, story mode as well. They said when they got set up that you could bring them horses and sell them to them. Well, that has been in the game since the start uh, in the online mode, and that's still not an option. You still can't go out and either find a wild horse or steal a horse and take it to them and sell them. Um, so something like the rancher idea, a uh, horse thief idea would be a lot of fun. A lot of people want just an outlaw, you know, just an outlaw kind of role where you can go out and rob stores, trains, stagecoaches, banks, whatever the case may be. I think that kind of thing would be a lot of fun in the open world, either for you to do by yourself or with your friends. Now, while it would be neat to have some bigger jobs, maybe kind of like the whole GTA idea of heist, you know, where you're robbing banks or trains, that would be a neat aspect to add in. But I think it would also be cool just to have things, you know, that are smaller banks, stores, whatever the case is, where you can just go out and rob them, feel like an outlaw. I think a lot of new things added into the open world would be a lot of fun in game just because... If you're not doing a role, if you and your friends are out playing or you're by yourself, really, if you're not participating in you know any of the roles, there's just stranger missions. You can go out and hunt, hunt legendary animals, that kind of thing. But I feel like there could be more added into the game just in general in the open world for things for you to participate in. Also, something I think would be neat would be some type of business that maybe is passive. Something that is going to make you money if you're not, you know, you're not having to go out and do a particular thing for it. It's kind of making money in the background. I think a lot of people thought that's how it was going to be with the Moonshine Shack when they purchased the bar. That you were going to make money from that bar. Of course, that is not the case. But kind of going off that idea, what if you could just purchase a, let's say, a poker table at one of the bars in game. Or put a poker table in your own Moonshine Shack. Um, and that way, you know, you'd make a passive income from the NPCs that come in there. It may not be a large amount, but it would just be a kind of... Uh, income kind of going in the background while you're out doing other things. I think it would also be a, uh, be a cool idea for you to own maybe a, a I don't really want to say casino like GTA, but like, you know, maybe a, just a card table or a, a roulette table or something inside one of the bars in 
in town, like some of the, you know, Valentine or Blackwater, whatever the case is, where you could also, you know, go in there and make a, a income from that as well. I think a lot of people want to see more with these roles. I think a lot of people want to be more kind of, I guess, engrossed in the roles themselves. You'll have to excuse me. My voice is absolutely shot today, but it's kind of something that will make them feel like they're achieving something because right now, I mean, if you play a lot, it does not take long at all to get from zero to 20 in a role. You go from novice to expert pretty quickly. I think a lot of people may want some things that are, you know, a little bit more grindy or something that feels like they're achieving something along the way. And I think some of these ideas would be good ways to implement those things into the game. Also, I would like to see some more character slots. Now, this is just me. But uh, once you get to level 100, of course, you all know that it's kind of pointless. I mean, it's not really pointless. You still rank up, but it's your level 100. I would like to have the option instead of just changing my character's appearance, maybe having one or two more character slots where I could go out you know, rank up another character, rank, rank up a new character, um, do the story missions a little bit differently. Maybe, you know, be good or bad, you know, when you're doing these story missions, well, whatever the case may be. Um, I, I would like to have an experience of maybe a different character. You know, I know they're not going to add tons of character slots because they want people to spend gold or, or cash to change their appearance. But I think it would be neat to at least have one or two more character slots where you can make another character after you get to like level 100 or and so on. If you kind of just feel bored, you don't want to change your look, but, you know, you want to just do something new, have a new experience. Maybe you like to role play, that kind of thing. Uh, another character slot or two, I think, would be a great addition. And a last but not least, is kind of some in general things uh, that's kind of about the game. It, it's a lot of fun to play when it works correctly. I know a lot of people have issues with connection problems and things, and I understand that's a big frustration. It's even a frustration for me when it doesn't work correctly. Sometimes I get in, in the days where it's just it does not want to work at all. It, it gets very frustrating. But when the game does work properly, it is a very enjoyable experience in the Red Dead Online world. Uh, I know a lot of people have problems with griefers. I know that's a, a big issue. And I wish they would do something else with passive mode because it just does not seem to work like it should. But anyway, that's just a, a topic for a whole other video. But I think just the addition of some new things in game, whether it be additions to adding to the existing roles, which Rockstar and Take-Two have talked about, or adding some new roles that are entirely different than what we already have, or like I said, adding things into the open world for you to do that's not really going to involve you being or having to have a role would be a lot of fun. I think players want more from the game. I think a lot of people enjoy the game. And I think the game will continue to grow uh, a community as long as Rockstar keeps running correctly, first of all. And then adds things in to keep people uh, you know, excited, occupied, uh, to take up time, just to come in and play. And not really even pay attention to how long you've been playing. I think when you get a game like that, it's when you know you've really made something that people really enjoy. And I hope that Rockstar can find a way to keep adding things in because I really love Red Dead Online, even though it is very frustrating to play. But I would like to see the game grow more in, in ways of additions of things that people really want and additions of, of things that would make the game more enjoyable for all players, whether you're playing solo or with friends. Anyway, guys, leave me a comment with your thoughts. And, of course, if you liked it, hit the like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. If you are a subscriber, make sure you click the bell icon in the top right corner so you know when all my videos go live. And be sure to check out everything down in the description, GT Racing, the Community Discord, and my Twitter. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.